before we do a part four, let me do a 3.4, a one and a half, so we can answer some of these recently asked questions. Y'all know I'm a little slow right now, a three and a half. And right off the rip, why did I decide to eat the whole chocolate bar? Why? And to answer your question, look, I've done psychedelics before. This is not my first rodeo. I started off taking TABs, okay? I've probably taken psychedelics about six different times. But the trip before this was the first time I've ever tried shrooms. And I was microdose. I took in a whole eighth and nothing happened to me. So when I got the chocolate bar, the package itself said that the whole thing was an eighth. So I'm like, okay, if this is an eighth, I can go ahead and eat the whole bar. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna eat the whole bar. I'm gonna eat six pieces. Well, I'm gonna eat six pieces and nibble on, you know, the seventh piece. You feel me? One thing I can absolutely say about the chocolate bar, it's not the same, okay? It is not the same. I don't know they're using the same shrooms. It's, it's not the same as what you buy from your plug. I don't know it's because, like, the plug actually has them out and, like, the actual, like, Ziploc Stroom, bags. Strooms, but it, it's not the same. Spicy chocolate. Number two, why did I go outside? Look, I'm a tourist. I'm never going to say that I was wrong, okay? But I will say that, you know, maybe going outside was not the best idea. I was feeling really claustrophobic in my house, and every time I've ever took in a psychedelic, I always went outside, you know, look out to the sky. That's one of my favorite things to do. I, I like to put my foot in the grass. But I think the fact that, I don't know, that chocolate bar really had me on my ass and it was dark outside. I think, you know, being in the dark really fucked with me because now I have like a phobia of being in the dark now. So, yeah. And one more thing, I'm not one of those creators that um, make something that traumatic happens in their life, their vocal point of their whole TikTok. So, y'all got until like Tuesday to really ask me whatever you want about this situation and then you're never going to hear about it ever again. You're going to have to scroll my um, TikTok to find these videos. If they're still there, because you know if you're black, you know, TikTok will um, put a community guidelines violation. But that's that's neither here or there. Look, I'm just going to go ahead and do a speed round because I got a little bit of time left. Look, I was listening to Stevie Wonder. How do you trip hard as shit on Stevie Wonder? I do not know. The only thing that I really could have did to really prepare me for the situation was drink a lot of water and have a trip sitter there at the time that I took it. A lot of people were asking me, why didn't you write down how you feel? Why didn't you write it down? Listen, there was nothing to write down. It was just pure emotions. I'll go more into detail in part four, but... Honestly, it felt like my head was on fire. I could not think. I didn't have any thoughts. I was just feeling. I don't care how experienced you are. This can happen to you. It can happen to anybody. 